Hey family and welcome back to the channel. Okay guys, so today is the day that I am taking these lovely tomatoes off and getting rid of these tomato trees. Yep, um, even some are trying to still bloom, but I have had these for almost a year now. I started before the summer and <laughs> yeah, they're still growing. Well, not so much height anymore, but they're still producing lots of tomatoes still on here. As you can see, there's some back there. And it's even one hiding under here. So they have some still trying to produce. This um, tomato plant here is not producing anything anymore. Um, it did have some flowers right there, but they never did anything else. And so it's time to let them go. I know they're still trying to bloom a little bit, but their time is up. They did a good job with producing some tomatoes. Here's some more little ones. Now over here, um, the peppers. We have some peppers over here. Let me get over here. We have this pepper here. There's a couple back there. And um, there's one over this way too. So as soon as those go, um, the pepper plant may be going as well. I do have the bell pepper still producing. As you can see right here, there's one little one there. I have a one here. And they're producing some more still. So I'll probably let this plant go a little while longer. This one here, I don't think it's producing anything else on this one. I'm not seeing any more production to this one. They still look nice and healthy. So I might just, um, on the peppers, cut them down low um, on the bell pepper ones. But the jalapeno one, I just don't know. Should I just let it keep going? <laughs> I mean, it looks like a pretty good plant still. It has really good roots at the bottom. So maybe I will go just keep the pepper plants, but the tomato ones, um, they're, they're ending today. Okay, guys, so I was pulling up um, the tomato plants out of the dirt. So I pulled out these, and you can see these have fairly big roots, that root system that was in there. That's how they was able to sustain itself, you know. Um, but this one, guys, I was trying to pull this one up. Let me show you this root system. Look at that. Wow. These three, yeah, three branches did all of that. That is a lot of root work there. I mean, it was not going anywhere for a while. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. And these were all um, from seeds, guys. Seeds. I didn't set them here and buy tomatoes. I did these all from seeds. So these, now this one is not as deep. See, that root was not as deep. That one's a pretty good big root too. Look at that. Wow, it's a deep root system. <sighs> but I'm gonna work on this dirt and see if I can still use it like for some maybe some topsoil because dirt is pretty expensive <laughs> when you buy it. It's crazy. So I will be definitely keeping the soil. I will treat it and everything and get it ready for the next uh, bed um, the next seeds that I put in there I don't know yeah I'll probably just use it for topsoil this one is really really dried out 
but this look way much healthier can you tell the different kind of soil that I've used this is much more healthier soil so then we have this one right here I think I'm gonna just put it away with the whole root system in it but yeah cleaning in off my patio getting ready for summer planting I really didn't want to plant anything before I move but um, I think I'm gonna start off with a few seeds and maybe I can get you know a, a little bit of produce before we move okay guys so these are the tomatoes I was able to pull off of there I left some of them on the little vine things there but these were all turned red inside and then I'll put them in some dish that I'll cook all right guys thank you for being with me today if you're a new new here please hit that subscribe button so you can be part of the family hit me with a like on this video guys for getting my fall stuff I guess it would be fall summer <laughs> all year vegetables um, pulled but give me a thumbs up on this video and I'll see you on the next adventure bye